The Nerdy Cheetah It was morning and all the cheetahs were running around chasing their lunch except for one nerdy cheetah who was sitting under a tree and reading a book about cowboys. Why aren't you running with your brothers and sisters? said the nerdy cheetah's father. You'll never catch anything if you don't practice running. But reading's fun, said the nerdy cheetah, and I'm learning so much. Nonsense, said the nerdy cheetah's father. What are books good for? You can't eat them. Now get up and get hunting. Feeling extremely picked on, Cheetah put down his book and went to hunt with his sisters. He didn't enjoy it at all. He hated running around in the felt, getting dirty and muddy and scratched by shrubs. He decided to slink off and have a nap up a tree instead. When he woke up, it was night and he was all alone. The felt lay quiet and calm all around. He heard a deep rumbling and was scared until he realized that it was his own tummy. Okay, he thought to himself. I'll be fine. I can find my own food. He peered around and eventually saw some movement. A lone civet was walking along the path under the tree. As the civet walked beneath him, Cheetah leapt from the branch, but his foot slipped. Instead of pouncing on his dinner, he landed face first right in front of it. The civet stared at Cheetah and then ran. Cheetah tried to chase the civet, but it changed direction mid-run, and Cheetah went skidding through the dirt right into a nearby water hole. Splash! By the time he got out of the water, the civet had disappeared. Miserable and wet, he went back to his tree. His dad was right, he thought. Learning to hunt was just as important as reading about cowboys and buried treasure. Exhausted, starving and defeated, Cheetah went back to sleep. The next morning, he awoke to an amazing sight. Below his tree was a herd of wildebeest. They hadn't noticed him sitting right above their heads, but something was making them nervous. He peered into the distance and he saw a massive storm cloud coming in. He suddenly remembered how, in his cowboy book, a herd of bison had stampeded when a thunderstorm broke. The wildebeest were going to stampede. In the distance, he heard a familiar voice. Hey, little brother, what are you doing up that tree? His sisters were walking behind the wildebeest. If the storm broke now, they would be crushed. Stampede, he called. Run! His sisters looked at each other. They didn't know why their brother thought there would be a stampede, but he didn't normally shout or do anything except read his books. So they decided to believe him. The sisters ran and jumped into the watering hole where they would be safe, just as lightning struck and the wildebeest herd started running. The wildebeest bashed into the tree repeatedly until it splintered and fell. Cheetah tumbled down and landed on the back of one of the wildebeest, which leapt and bounded trying to knock him off. It was like one of the rodeos he had read about, where cowboys rode on bucking horses. But it wasn't nearly as fun as he had imagined. It was loud and painful and scary. As the wildebeest was passing the water hole, it bucked the nerdy cheetah off, and he landed next to his sisters with a splash. You're okay, they said happily while the nerdy cheetah spat out a mouthful of mud. Back at home, Cheetah saw his dad. You were right, dad, he said. I can't eat books. And you were right, son. Your books and quick thinking saved your sister's lives. That night, the pride ate well, thanks to the hunting skills of Cheetah's sisters and they all ate together 
thanks to the nerdy cheetah and his books. Thank you.